Heart disease is one of the major killers the world over, but with medical technology constantly evolving, mortality rates are dropping. Joining me down the line to discuss the cutting edge in these developments is Michaela Perino from Volcano, a Philips business. Michaela, the current treatment for this is very invasive and can't be used for everyone. What technology are you developing to better the current procedure and what sort of impact do you predict this will have on mortality rates? Volcano is developing a technology to enhance precision image and sensing guided therapy to overcome the shortcomings of, uh, of the X-ray um, angiograms. How we do that? We mainly do uh, through uh, two technology, one uh, called FFR, the second IVUS. Let me first uh, describe what FFR is. It's a physiological assessment through a sensor is mounted on, uh, on a wire that allows physician to assess which, uh, uh, which vessel, critical vessel, needs to be treated versus which vessel needs to be deferred. IVUS give a, a different perspective, again, complementary to the angiogram, because instead of, you know, physiological information gives uh, morphological information. It's an IVUS catheter with a transducer mounted on it. It's introduced in the artery, and then through the artery, give a 360 view on the plaque and, uh, and the vessel wall. Very soon, Volcano will introduce in the market a new software and hardware that will allow to combine angiogram with physiological information as well as uh, uh, IVUS. And it is a, a tremendous ne uh, I mean, step forward because the physician will have on the same monitor all the different, info uh, the different information he needs. So how widely is your technology used around the world? And what's the advantages of this real-time technology? The advantage of this technology are very well, uh, uh, let's say, known to a physician and are also very well supported by uh, strong clinical evidence. Unfortunately, uh, the adoption in Europe is not, uh, is not so high, it remains still in the range of uh, 6% on average for both technology, FFR and IV. And this is our major challenge, uh, but at the same time also the opportunity because what Volcano is really focused on is uh, sharing the evidence, sharing the, the clinical utility and need that this technology brings and try to convince the clinical and not clinical stakeholder that using FFR and I would really, really make sense. Of course, the medical industry is also a business. So what's the cost-cutting advantages? If we look at the, the short term, there is an additional cost for the hospital. But if our view uh, moves more to the longer term, there is, of course, much higher clinical benefit and much lower uh, cost that the hospital will have. Just to give an example, if we have, a, a, for example, for a three-vessel disease, thanks to the FFR and then assessing the vessel, we could uh, have cases where the patient could have uh, one or two vessels treated and the, the other uh, deferred. And as a consequence of that, in some cases, this could also mean that instead of getting a bypass surgery, it will just have a, a PCI intervention. It's much less uh, invasive. And then you can uh, clearly uh, understand, I mean, the cost, but also the consequence for the patient itself. We are uh, really uh, uh, selling a cost-saving uh, uh, technology. Now, in February of this year, Volcano was acquired by health tech giant Philips. Bert van Meurs is Senior Vice President of the Philips Business Group Image Guided Therapy. But how important is this acquisition to Philips' strategy? For Philips, this is a major acquisition. Philips has had a vision and a strategy really to organize itself across the health continuum. We do have a major position, a leading position in the image guided therapy space through our interventional X-ray lab. But that is just part of such a solution. And now we are making a significant step in a new space, which means interventional devices. And through this acquisition, we now can combine devices with systems, which will allow us to provide our customers a much more overall integrated solution. What's next for the image guided therapy business? and how do you see technology in the medical industry changing in the years to come? This is just a start. Uh, the, the development of minimally invasive therapy is a tremendous change in the way uh, uh, care is being delivered for, for patients. Through minimally invasive procedures, you can uh, deliver treatment in a uh, more effective way, less impact to a patient, and a lot of new applications and new procedures are being developed thanks to new technology that provide better guidance, more selective delivery of that treatment inside the patient. Right now, we do have a strong position in PCI, coronary interventions, also in peripheral, uh, which is growing, is rapidly growing. But we will go also into structural heart disease where TAVI procedures for the replacement of aortic valve, mitral valve uh, repair, and even into electrophysiology and a whole lot of new applications. Combined 
combining both our companies will allow us to have more capabilities to develop new technologies, but this is just the start to really grow the minimally invasive therapy space and, uh, and continue to have the best solutions for our customers and continue to develop that as a leading uh, company.